again, tracking a tropical storm Idalia. This is uh, moving pretty slowly near Cuba. Uh, still not a hurricane yet. Uh, expected to become one uh, likely later tonight or early tomorrow. But 70 mile per hour winds and that latest track here taking it into Florida. In fact, the west coast of Florida under a hurricane warning. Tropical storm warnings here for uh, most of the rest of the Florida Peninsula. And we have, uh, of course, uh, tropical storm uh, watches and warnings expanding all the way into Georgia and parts of South Carolina as well. So that latest track uh, brings it into the Gulf of Mexico, strengthening it to that hurricane, and it is forecast now to be a major Category 3 hurricane by the time it makes landfall on Wednesday morning here on that west coast of Florida. 120 mile per hour winds likely to move through southern Georgia, kind of skirt the Carolina coastline and then curve back out to sea. So this will be a big storm here for Florida and one to watch in the coming days. Also, Hurricane Franklin, this is a beast of a storm, 150 mile per hour winds. You can see how well defined that eye is. Very symmetrical storm. And uh, luckily for all of us, this is going to be staying out at sea. It is going to be skirting by Bermuda here in the next few days. They may experience some tropical storm force winds, but that will be it, luckily. Uh, but it'll be a major hurricane there as it heads back out into the open Atlantic. Meanwhile, we have winds out of the north and northeast here. We have our front st uh, situated across southeast Louisiana. This did bring us some cooler temperatures today. Highs only in the 90s and of course that is what brought us the rain last night. A lot of rain here off to our east tonight and our upper ridge that has really been suppressing our rain chances and keeping temperatures warm is back off to the west. We're under the influence of tropping now for the next few days. And as Idalia moves into the Gulf, we're going to see that pressure gradient increase. So we're going to see strong northerly winds picking up, uh, really starting tomorrow, but uh, picking up even more for Wednesday and Thursday. And that's going to uh, pull some dry air into Louisiana. So we're going to have a nice little humidity front arriving by late on Tuesday, early into Wednesday. But unfortunately, that will increase our fire danger again later this week. Now, once we get into the weekend, it does look like ridging does start to build back in with some uh, troughing out in the Gulf. So uh, we're likely to see warmer temperatures again for our upcoming Labor Day weekend. So for Tuesday, could see a stray shower too in the morning and into the early afternoon. Rain chances aren't too high tomorrow, expecting only isolated activity, much like today, and those best chances will be uh, down to the south for tomorrow. Uh, so looking at future casts here uh, as we go into Tuesday, could have a bit more cloud cover there early on than this model is showing. And if we do see a shower too, it'd likely be in the late afternoon, but not expecting a whole lot here uh, heading into Wednesday or into Tuesday and then into Wednesday as well. We'll have that dry air arriving. So for tonight, low 70s across the area, near average. That high is tomorrow again, staying in the 90s between 90 to 94. Uh, this is near average for this time in August. So this is where we should be. And uh, luckily, no records here uh, uh, in, uh, in danger of being broken uh, for the next several days. Finally, a much needed break from that as well. Uh, so our drier air arrives by Tuesday night. Dew points will drop into the 50s Wednesday and Thursday. So Again, it's going to feel nice and refreshing. We'll have some cooler mornings, but with low relative humidity and gusty northerly winds, that will likely bring back possibly red flag conditions for Wednesday and Thursday. So even though we had the rain, uh, we've got to be very careful here in the next several days because uh, that fire danger here will likely remain high. Upper 80s here through lunchtime tomorrow by 5 o'clock into the low 90s. Winds are out of the north tomorrow. And then again, we wake up on Wednesday morning with temperatures in the upper 60s. That should continue for Thursday morning and Friday morning. But that dry air will allow us to warm up in the afternoon. So still looking at upper 90s here. Little to no rain, though, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then for that upcoming holiday weekend, we'll be hanging around, around 100 with isolated